Welcome back to another video from Inzara.com. In this week's episode, we will be finishing up the Recruitment Tracker Excel template. In the previous three weeks, we have built the template from scratch. We have built the input table. We have done some basic summary metrics calculations. We have built the active pipeline chart. In last week's episode, we built the recruitment funnel chart. In this week's episode, we are going to build a top decline reasons table. The purpose of this table is to show how many applications have been declined for what reason, and we're going to build it in such a way that top reasons come at the top, meaning it's a sorted list or a sorted table output. Before we get started with that, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so, and please don't forget to share the video with your friends if you find it useful. And also, I look forward to your feedback on which template would you like me to build from scratch in the upcoming videos. So please post your response in the comment section below on which template. Please name the template and also provide a link to the template from inzara.com so that I can work on developing video tutorials that you are most interested in. Now let's get started with this week's episode. So this is where we were from the last week's episode. So I'm gonna to go to the help sheet and let's start building this decline reasons table. The first thing I'm going to do is to write down the decline reason. In this case, I'm actually going to just um, type the names. I'm going to assume that we will have a list of five different reasons. So I'm just gonna block this section out for our calculations so that it's clear where we're gonna do it. Okay, so th these are the decline reasons. If I'm building a template for somebody else, um, or meaning if I'm building it and handing over to somebody else to use it, then I would probably put more formulas in here instead of typing in the decline reasons. But to keep it simple, um, we can just, if you're gonna use it yourself, then you can just type the decline reasons directly here. And then um, once we have the decline reasons, the next thing is to count the number of applications which have been declined with these reasons. So in order to do this, we'll just do count ifs. If you remember from the previous videos, T underscore apps is basically the name of the table that we have given to the table in sheet one. So I'm going to use that T underscore apps and uh, the column that we're going to use is, let's say status. We want to do closed status. The closed indicates that we have taken a decision not to move forward with that candidate. So that makes sense that we use that to filter only those where we have made a decision to not pursue, meaning we have declined the application. So we know uh, that that's the one we want to count. So then the next reason, next filter for us is the declined reason. So declined reason should equal this value, which is in J4, cell J4. Now close parenthesis. And one thing we would want to do is to do an if error. If there is an error, then just don't display anything. And now I'm going to select these five cells, edit the cell, control enter. This applies to all of them. And the next thing we are going to do is rank. Since we want to know which one had the most, we're going to use the rank calculation. So let's say if the number of application is greater than zero, then count it among the rank. Otherwise, I don't want the rank. So if it is greater than zero, then rank this value, comma, out of all of these. And if you have, if you want to have more than five decline reasons, you can follow the same steps, except wherever I'm limiting to the five rows, you will extend it to more rows. So now I want to lock this K4 and K8 because the complete list of um, applications includes all the decline reasons. It's going to be the same for everyone, uh, every specific decline reason. So I'm going to just select all of them and we can leave the default because the default ordering is descending, meaning the highest application count will be ranked number one. So you don't need to type any uh, order information. You just close it. Now this gives you the rank. And then um, if 
not, then don't display anything. Let's say we do a formula like this, and I'm going to hit Control Enter to copy the formula down. Now you will see that culture fit is actually ranked number one because it has the most number of applications, number three. Similarly, uh, experience is the least, so the rank is three, number of application is one. So our rank function is working fine. However, let's say if the number is, uh, there is a tie. So for example, let me go back here and then change one of the culture fit to experience. So now what happens is all of them will have um, two applications each, and then the rank will be one, one, one. Everything is first ranked. And this is not helpful because we want to have distinct or unique rank values here. That is how we can pull the data from here and display the top three decline reasons over here. That is our objective for this video. So when we want to do a tie breakup or tie, break the tie even in ranking, we would use some extra logic. So essentially I would go in here, I would do plus count if k3 to k3 and then the first k3 we want to lock so count in this range the value is the same as k4 okay now okay that should work i'll explain what this logic is doing okay Great, so now we have rank, which is which will not be duplicated, which will always be unique. The, what we're doing here is that when when um, in, the, in the experience row, what this is doing is basically saying, go start from here K3 until K4, which is an include the technical number. Now tell me if this number two, which is cell K5, has already appeared. If it has already appeared, how many times it's appeared? So since two has already appeared once in this cell K4, I am adding that one to my result of the rank. So what this does is previously when we saw one, 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 now when it comes to the second value, it says I already saw something in the, pa in the previous row, so I'm going to increase my counter by one. When we come here, it increases by two. So for example, the COUNTIF function, if I do F9, it tells me that the result of that is two, so I'm adding two. Th but this is the method by which we can break the ties so that our ranking is always be unique. So just to re remind or recap, we are doing a rank function to get the rank, and then we will count if the same rank has happened before, then you will add that counter. So by this way, we are breaking the tie. Now, once we once we are done with this, the rest of the stuff is somewhat easy. So um, now what I'm going to do is to do sorted reason, meaning the I want to know the first reason, which is the greatest number of or the highest number of applications. So I'm going to do match, match first rank. Actually, let's say. Before I do that, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five here, just as a counter there. And now I'm going to do match one. The, give me the first or the top declined reason. So I'm going to uh, match one in this array. Lock it, zero. So this gives me the row that matches with the number one. And then now I just need the reason. So I will do x index of this. Okay, now technical comes up first. And then when I copy the formula down, then I get something like this. Since there is no fourth value, it, it appears as nothing. So we'll do an if error. do close parenthesis. Okay, so what we have done here is find the match of number one in the list of arrays and give me the corresponding tech, uh, decline reason value. So when I go to the third one, what it is doing is go and find number three in this list of ranks and give me the corresponding 
declined reason. And let's go back and put culture fit back here instead of experience. Come back here. Now you know that um, culture fit has three applications, technical has two, experience has one. But when you come here, culture fit comes to the top, technical is second and experience is third because it's sorted based on the number of applications. So it looks like our, our methodology is working correctly. Now the last thing I would want to do is tell me how many applications, right? So match culture fit in the list of declined reasons, comma zero. This gives me the row number. And then I will do index, give me the number of applications. Okay, now I can get the number of applications and uh, we would want a error. So we're using a lot of index match. So since we've already covered that in some of the previous videos, I'm not going into detail on how the index match works because that'll extend the video longer here. So if you, uh, if you have any questions about index match, please post them in the comments and I will definitely do a, a separate video if there is a need. But index match is a pretty critical part of this and the ranking function that we used here, which I've also covered in one of the previous videos more in detail. So that's, those are the techniques that we are using in this to convert a table which is not ordered. Now we have a sorted order and this tells us the number of applications. So one thing you can do is if you want to show percentage instead of the, um, instead of the actual number of applications, what we can do is go into this formula and then divide it by total number of applications here. Okay, now I'm gonna copy the formula down. Uh, I'm using the technique here where I select, I select all the values, go into the edit mode, and then press control enter. Now this applies the formula to all everything without messing with the formatting. That is the reason why I'm using that uh, technique in this video. So now we have converted them into percentage of applications. There we go. So now clearly culture fed is the top with the 50% and then all on. So if you have more than five, you will have a longer table, but otherwise the methodology and the techniques are the same. So now for the final thing, what we want is to bring that value over here. So top decline reasons, and I'm gonna just use the same formatting as I think it's 14. Okay, now let's bring the top reason. So I will do just equals and point to the cell, that's it. So if you point to that cell and then come back, come down five rows and then I think one more, or if you, if you have top five, let's say if you have top three, then only select the three rows and then bring in the values. And then just a little bit of formatting so that it looks uh, clear. So I'm just gonna change the font there. And now we have that. And now um, on this side, I want to know, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna select everything and press control enter. So what this does is also brings in the corresponding values from the next column, which is the percentage. So I'm gonna select them, change to the percentage format, and then change the font to white. You can also change it to another color if you prefer. Um, and then I'm going to center them. There we go. So now this is the top declined reasons table, which is pretty simple, but it's pretty very effective because as soon as you, let's say for example, we close this one and then we give a reason experience, you can instantly see now experience is making up 29% uh, of the closed applications with the decline reason. So this is how automated this template has become now. When you get a new application or an applicant to this job, you enter them in the table below, and then you will fill in the dates as they go through the progression of the different stages of recruiting. And then once you make a decision on a candidate not to proceed, then just change the status to closed put a reason why you've declined that application. You can also use the comment section to write a more descriptive 
um, commentary on the application if you need. That's it. That's how you can use this template. You can instantly see the total number of application, how many days has it been to hire. If you're still in the process of hiring, then you will just remove the hire date and now you'll see the funnel, you'll see the act number of applications in the active pipeline for the job, and then also the top declined reasons um, for the applications that you have declined. So that's, that's pretty much it for this template. So we started from scratch. And over the last four videos, we have gone towards a useful and an effective template to track recruiting for one position at a time. Um, this template has, has been very popular. It has been downloaded so many times by uh, users all across the world. And uh, based on the feedback, I wanted to provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this template. And that's why the four video, four part video series on this. And um, I also have another template, Recruitment Manager, which I'll provide a link to in the description below, which has a lot more features, um, tracking uh, applications for multiple jobs and a you know, much more advanced dashboard. And um, if you are interested, you can also check that out. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I look to your feedback in the comment section for which Excel template that you would like me to start from uh, scratch and build it with video tutorial. Please post your feedback in the comments and I'll see you all in the next week's episode of Ask Your Excel Question. Thank you very much for watching.